Kittle just leveled up big time. Nano Banana has been integrated into Kittle Flows for a few months now, making your design process insanely fast. I've been testing it for a while, and honestly, this might be the biggest speed upgrade we've seen yet. I'm breaking down how Nano Banana integrates into Kittle Flows, how it compares to the old ChatGPT workflow, and I'll even show you real examples you can test yourself. Let's dive in. So I have this Christmas-themed Chihuahua design. To start off, click on Artboard, then select Smartboard. Let's type this simple prompt. Change this to a black cat. Make sure the model is set to Nano Banana, then click Generate. I'll show you how fast Nano Banana generates without any fast forwarding or cuts. As you can see, there's a countdown timer inside the prompt box. And there it is. A simple prompt usually takes around 15 seconds to generate, so more complex ones may take a bit longer. To generate another design, simply click the artboard again, then select Smartboard. We'll generate a few more designs from this, and I'll explain why later. Repeat the same process. And of course, you can also change it to a human, like this Santa Claus. By the way, you can always go back to previous generated prompts and edit it. Like this one. Let's try turning it into an orange cat. Now I'll show you why we generated a few more designs. You can duplicate this artboard along with the smartboard by selecting them all, holding Alt and dragging to create a copy. Using this duplicated artboard, we can now replace the image inside it. Import your new design and place it inside the artboard. Now comes the fun part. You can edit all the generated images at once using their original prompts by clicking the smartboards one by one while holding Shift key and clicking Generate again. In just a few seconds, we've got the results. Let's go through them one by one. Our subject was already a cat, but it still transformed into an orange cat. All the generated images look great and captured the style well. However, this one didn't turn out to be Santa Claus, though it still kept the Christmas elements. We could edit the prompt, but I'll just leave it as is. Replicating textures. So I have this image of a bunny with a floral texture and design. We'll try to replicate this texture on different images. To do that, follow the same process. Select the artboard, then click Smartboard. We'll try to compare the images generated by ChatGPT and Nano Banana. Let's type a clear and simple prompt. Using this pattern and style, generate a peace symbol. This time we'll use the ChatGPT model. Now click Generate. Since we're using the ChatGPT model, it'll take around two minutes to generate the image. Let's try another one, but this time we'll use Nano Banana to compare the two models. We'll use the same prompt as before. Make sure to switch the model back to Nano Banana, then click Generate. Nano Banana captured most of the details, but it seems to miss some of the overlapping elements compared to ChatGPT. So, we'll generate a few more designs to get a clearer comparison. Now that it's done, let's compare them side by side. As we can see, ChatGPT retained the floral design on top, while Nano Banana did the same. Though, it looks a bit odd to me. Let's check the Dreamcatcher. ChatGPT captured most of the style, including the colors and overall design, while Nano Banana mainly picked up the colors and so it doesn't quite match the same art style. For the Volkswagen van, I added the word 3D to the prompt. Both of them got the texture that we like. ChatGPT's result still looks more like an illustration, while Nano Banana's version looks like a real van. 
so I'll go with Nano Banana this time. And for the last one, the guitar. I prefer the result from ChatGPT since it kept the texture and produced a complete guitar design, unlike Nano Banana. Overall, both produced great results, but if speed is your main priority, go with Nano Banana. It's much faster and more cost efficient. Image Restyling Restyling Designs For this test, we'll have both ChatGPT and Nano Banana generate images based on the art style we provide. Create a new smart board, set the model to ChatGPT, and change the aspect ratio to 2 to 3 since the design is in portrait mode. Then type the prompt. Make the design cartoon style. While waiting, let's create a new smart board and generate another design using Nano Banana. Switch the model back to Nano Banana and enter the same prompt we used earlier. Now let's wait for both images to finish generating. As we can see, the cat was successfully turned into a cartoon. ChatGPT's version looks cute, but it's interesting that the cat turned out orange. I'll give this one to Nano Banana since it managed to retain the cat's original color. We'll generate a few more images so we can have more comparison. For this art style, I asked both models to generate a gothic version. In my opinion, Nano Banana achieved a stronger gothic look, especially with its enhanced background. Next is the watercolor style. I prefer ChatGPT's result since it looks more like an actual watercolor painting compared to Nano Banana's version. Next is the psychedelic style. ChatGPT's design looks more psychedelic overall, but it doesn't really fit as a t-shirt design, so I'll go with Nano Banana again. For the last one, I went with a cyberpunk style. ChatGPT's result looks great, but it has a typographical error in the word world, so I'll go with Nano Banana again. Overall, the designs generated by Nano Banana look better than those from ChatGPT. Mockup Templates Kittle now has built-in templates powered by Kittle Flows, perfect for creating designs for your brand. To use them, go to Templates, scroll down until you see Kittle Flows, then click Show All and choose the template you'd like to use. Now, go to the artboard, import your design, and replace the existing design inside the artboard. To revise them all at once, hold down the Shift key and click on each one to select them. After that, click Generate Again. And here it is. In just a few clicks, we now have an updated mock-up with our new design. These designs were made using the Chat GPT model. So I duplicated the artboard along with the smart boards and generated a version using Nano Banana. Let's compare the results. If you look closely at the designs generated by ChatGPT, they may appear clean and good at first glance, but there are some inconsistencies, especially with the letter B. Also, the design on the bucket hat overlaps, making it look a bit unrealistic. For Nano Banana, all the designs are consistent and surprisingly better than ChatGPT's. However, it has the same issue with the bucket hat. The design overlaps slightly, making it look a bit unrealistic too. Overall, I'll go with Nano Banana for this one. If you want to fix anything in the image, you can always go back and edit your prompts. Built-in functions. Once your design looks good, you can instantly convert your graphic into an image. Just select the image in the smart board, then click Convert to Image. You can also remove the background or even vectorize and upscale, all without leaving Kittle. And here's something I love. If you click the AI chat button on the floating toolbar, you can ask questions related to your design like, suggest a text or phrase that can go with this graphic design for a t-shirt. It's basically like having chat GPT built right into your workspace. We could continue and finalize this design, but I'll leave it as it is for now. So let's say you liked the design you generated. You can now download it. Just follow the same process by converting it to an image. After that, you can use the available tools if you want to. Since my design is already large, I'll just copy it and paste it or replace the existing design in the artboard. Then click the export icon. Deselect everything, then check artboard one. Finally click download. 
And if you want to print your designs, head over to our website, transfersuperstars.com. We offer different services to help you print your design. For gang sheet transfers, under the gang sheet section, click on DTF Gang Sheet Builder. Here you can choose how your gang sheet will be. Sizes range from 22 by 12 to 22 by 100. You can also select how many copies you want to order. Once you're set, click Build Your DTF Gang Sheet. When prompted, click on Start a Brand New Gang Sheet. Upload your image. Once done, click on it to open the settings. Then click on Edit Image to access this new feature on our website. As you can see, there are five tools here. Remove Background, Upscale Quality, Halftone, Crop, and Color Tools. For now, let's use the color tools. Select the color you want to knock out, then adjust the tolerance based on your preference. Once you're satisfied, click Remove. It might take a few moments to process, so just be patient. Once done, click Apply, and it will automatically return to the Gang Sheet Builder. Give it a moment to finalize the edits. You can edit the background color by going to Settings and choosing your preferred color. Note that this won't appear in the actual print, it's only for preview purposes. Now, going back to Edit Image, we'll use the Halftone tool to clean up the edges of our design. Once done, click Apply. Adjust the height and position for it to fit in the gang sheet. Finalize the size of your image based on your preference. Finally, click Save and then add to cart. All right, guys, we got the print. Let's take a closer look, okay? All right, let's take a closer look, guys. This came out so well. I'm not lying to you, the half tones on this looks ridiculous. This came out really well, guys. Yeah, I cannot wait. Look at how the back looks too, it's very crisp. Everything glued on, came out very nice, guys. I'm excited. All right, let's go. We're using the Smart Blinks Black Large T-shirt. It's a model number of 402. It's dependable and built to last. You could find the link in the description if you guys want to check them out. For our heat press, we have the automatic Beaver heat press. This is a 15 by 15. If you guys do want to see the full video or just grab one for yourself, those links are going to be down below as well. So let's jump right in. All right, guys, let's start up. So for our heat press, we are going to be using our laser because we look at the design is actually up in the dimensions of the 15 by 15. If it was oversized, we would have had to do this a different way, but I'm happy that it's not. Let's also measure this accordingly, guys. If you guys don't have these already, this is a uh, just an alignment tool. But once you have the alignment tool set at a standard that you guys are usually pressing your guys' shirt, you're just gonna try to align it perfectly. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Okay, that looks pretty standard. So I'm gonna remove it now. And now we're just gonna apply our shirt. We're just gonna kind of come up from the top right there and then just start adjusting it. You don't want to really tug on it much because you mess with the platform. So you just kind of gently jostling it around. And then what we're going to do is just make sure that this is properly aligned. Just check at the bottom. All right. Now that we have that, looking at the print is a little bit bigger than it, then we would have to kind of just bring it up. What we're going to do first though is going to make a good old mark. I'm gonna go from the letters right here kind of towards the L because I feel like that makes more sense for me. I'm just gonna do the top only because of the fact that the laser is a little wonky at the end. So I'm just gonna have it up in the front. I am gonna put this up a lot more just where the letters pass just so I can make sure that this is where I think that this should be aligned. Awesome, and then now not to mess up I'm just going to basically put some tape on here. This is a heat press tape. 
just so it doesn't move while I'm moving it. Only because I had it on standby. And then we're just going to now move it up. Up on the platform. Okay, now since everything is set, everything is good to go. Now we're going to heat press this. It's for 300 degrees. It's at a 10 second heat timer, but usually ours is seven seconds. But for this heat press, the only like second lowest is the five seconds. So it goes in five second intervals. So we couldn't reach the seven seconds, but either way, it's still gonna come out really good. Regardless, 10 seconds or seven, it's still gonna come out really nice. So let's check on this. Okay, it is really hot. <laughs> We're gonna just try to remove the tape first while it cools down. It's kind of like trying to eat hot food. <laughs> and your fingers are burning, but you can't stop. <laughs> All right, there we go. And then let's just give it a good peel. All right. So it does have some kind of glow towards it, but since it is like a cat, I wanna add it more texture to it making it a little bit more different than its original form. So this is gonna come out, I feel like a lot, ni a lot nicer than I even thought. <laughs> Looking at the design, it looked like a, a plain shirt that was supposed to come through, but honestly, I think this is, this is pretty cool. And we did this all in Kittle Flows, guys. <laughs> awesome. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, well, let's take a closer look at it over here. Alright guys, let's take a closer look here. It looks nice. I don't know if you guys could tell, but this is on here. Yeah, this looks nice guys. This came out so well. Wow. All the edges, everything came out so well guys. This is probably one of my favorites. <laughs> I do like it. It did come out so nice guys. The colors, everything about it. I'm, I'm loving it. Alright guys. All right, guys, we walked you through a step-by-step -step process on creating this design in Kittle. Made a DTF printable using our gang sheet builder, printed it out, and then pressed it on a smart blank steed. Now we got a clean, breathable, wearable shirt. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you're looking for a reliable DTF supplier, reach out. We would love to earn your guys' business. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. I'll catch you on the next one.